As the name suggests, a cap and trade system has two parts. The first part is the cap. The government sets a maximum amount of emissions. The second part is the trade. The government sells or issues permits to emitters of greenhouse gases. And every emitter needs a permit for every ton of GHGs that they emit. The trade part is that they can trade among themselves and in that market for permits, a price is established. Facing that carbon price, everyone has an incentive to reduce emissions. Let's look at an example. Imagine two companies. Let's call them Company A and Company B. Based on the market price of carbon, Company A and B determine what investments they can make that will reduce their emissions at a lower cost than paying the carbon price. They then must ensure their permits equal their remaining emissions. Company A identified many low-cost opportunities to reduce emissions. As a result, it has more permits than it needs. Company B, on the other hand, mostly has expensive options for reducing GHG emissions. As a result, it wants to buy additional permits. Trading benefits both companies. A sells its excess permits to B. What is the overall impact on the economy? All companies take actions that make sense for them. Collectively, their decisions satisfy the cap, with the low-cost firms doing more emissions reductions and the high-cost firms doing less. The overall impact is that emissions get reduced at the lowest possible economic cost. Carbon pricing works, and everybody likes something that works. Check it out at ecofiscal.ca.